Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help and this is a new tutorial session for you. In this session, we are going to create a stacked area chart in JavaFX with the help of XML. So guys, in the stacked chart, we represent the data uh, with the help of the stacked area chart. And this class builds the area that are stacked so that each series adjoins but does not overlap the preceding series. Let me show you an image. You can see in front of you, this is the example of the stacked area chart. And guys, the task we are going to perform, we are going to create a stacked area chart in which we will show two series of data, uh, which is a temperature captured for uh, different days uh, in two months. And uh, these are the steps that we are going to perform. Then in the step one, we need to create a FXML based project. In the step two, we simply open that FXML uh, in the project with the scene builder and uh, you need to follow my instructions. We will do some necessary changes to meet the requirements to display the temperature data. In the step three, we need to prepare two series and uh, step four, we will simply add those two series in stacked area chart. These are the simplest steps. Let me take you inside the NetBeans. So here is the project. This is the FXML based project. You can simply go to the file menu, click on the new project and select the Java FXML project. Click next and you can simply create this project. So you will get these three files as usual. FXML controller and the main class file. Let me show you the FXML file. So this is opened in the scene builder. And now the first step already done. We are performing this step two. So in this step two, we just opened the scene builder and that FXML is opened here. Now go to the library in this uh, search place and uh, here you have to type this tagged area chart because first time you will open the FXML and nothing will be there. You need to delete all those uh, default controls. When you type the stack, then you will get this object. Just drag and drop your stacked area chart here on this anchor pen. And on the left hand side, you will see two nodes will appear uh, under this stacked area chart. So first one is for the X axis and the second one is the Y axis. Both are the number axis, but we have to adjust the X number axis according to our requirement. We want to display the days number like day one day two day three day four so when you add these a uh, number axis this will not look like this this will look different so uh, we are going to do some settings from the right hand side in this property section so you have to go here and set the tick unit one then you have to move upside and you will see this uh, property upper bound which will be set to some different you have to set it for the days 31 so put it 31 and you will get the range from 1 to 31. Now we will move further and we will do one more setting. Check, uncheck this box. By default, this will be check. You have to uncheck this, then you will get the right range of the numbers as we are looking for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on up to 31. So this is the right settings we have done here in the FXML. Now, it's time to set a FX ID to this chart. So select this tag area chart, go to the right hand side under the code section, FX colon ID at this place. You can write any name and assign as a FX ID. So I have given a tagged area chart. That's it. We have done all the things here. Now, we will save this FXML and uh, we are going back to the NetBeans. So uh, we are he here and uh, you can see this project is set to the main project. Now I'm going inside the controller file. So simply here what we have to do, we have to simply use the FXML annotation and we have to create one reference variable and then we have to give the FX ID. So because we are going to use that stacked area chart object. So I have to give that uh, FX ID as a reference variable name. 
now my reference variable is stacked area chart and this is the default uh, code which was not in use so i have removed that now i'm inside the initialize method now here we have to write something so we are going to perform the next step let me take you back inside the notepad so you will get the idea what we are going to do here now we are at the step 3 in the step 3 we need to create two data series okay data series that will display the temperature data across the days in two different months so we are going to prepare two different series data series so this is the code for preparing the data series with the help of xy chart dot series class simply call a new and xy chart dot series when you can set a name for the series for the first month we have given the name july and the, for the second month we have given the name august and on the right hand side you can see the highlighted uh, data is for the x axis comma the next data is the y axis the x axis means uh, the day one in which the temperature captured which is four and the day two which is the third day and the data uh, the temperature captured which is 10 degrees celsius in the same way we have prepared the series for different different days and the same uh, thing we have uh, done for the second series so in this way we have prepared two series for our chart now you can see we have uh, to import xy chart class which was not there now this is added now those that are gone and uh, we are good to go so this is the way we can uh, prepare the series for the data if uh, you have a requirement for uh, third series so you can uh, go with the same way you can prepare the third series and uh, in the final step we will add all those series of a stacked area chart now the step four so simply we are going to add these data series in our stacked area chart so what to do nothing we will use the object which the reference object we have defined here so just paste it here and uh, calling the method get data then uh, add all And inside the add all we have to pass the series if I have two series so I will pass those two series uh, as a comma separated and uh, if you have uh, more series so you can give all series here by putting the comma so the series July series August already given so guys uh, step 4 finished now we are at the step 5 in the step 5 we have to simply take the clean build of this project and we will do a test run this is the last important line that we have already done now going for the clean build here we go clean build in progress so we have to wait for uh, 5 to 10 seconds more now build is successful we are going to run it so finally we got our stacked area chart as you can see in front of you we have these two series and uh, you can see uh, both are uh, stacked to on each other but they are not uh, overlapping uh, the uh, series so the second series uh, data is not overlapping the first series means uh, the second series color the area is not overlapping the first series so you can clearly see uh, both series here so this way we can uh, create this tagged chart in the JavaFX with the help of fxml which was very easy i hope you guys clear on these concepts
If you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button and uh, you can subscribe to appreciate us. And guys, keep watching Cool IT Help.